And here's another lie that maybe some of you were told. Just pray a prayer. Just pray a prayer and receive Jesus. And I'm saying, read this book. Do you see that anywhere in this book? Where they're told to just close their eyes and pray a prayer? No, what it says in Acts chapter 2, the very first sermon, it says the people heard the message and it said they were cut to the heart. And they looked at Peter and the apostles and they said, what do we need to do? And Peter says, repent, be baptized, and you'll receive the Holy Spirit. This is what the scriptures say. Again, read it yourself. The, the Bible talks about repentance. Repentance means, man, you thought you were a good person, you were heading a certain direction, and then you heard the message of Jesus to repent means to do a 180. This is what the disciples did. They were living their life and then they followed Jesus. It says repent and be baptized, being baptized. Not that the baptism actually saves you, but it does say be, be baptized for the forgiveness of sins. It meant you're dying to yourself. It says, I'm done trying to follow Francis and his desires. Francis isn't going to get himself into heaven. I'm dying to myself and I want to be called Christ or Christian now. I'm dying to myself in baptism, being baptized into Christ. And then the Bible says, and you'll receive this gift of the Holy Spirit. He says, this promise is for you, your children, and those who are far off. He said this 2,000 years ago. He said to those people, repent, be baptized, filled with the Spirit. And he says, this promise is for you, your children, and those who are far off. Again, study it. You have to make your own decision. Have you decided to follow Jesus? Has there ever been a time where you don't need me? Okay, you have to come before God and make that decision. Say, God, I'm ready. I'm ready to turn from myself and follow you. Have you made that decision? Have you made that decision to say, you know what? I want to just die to myself in baptism and be baptized into Christ. Have you ever told God, God, I want your spirit to fall on me? and change me so that I can follow you, so I can put to death that old me and live the way that you want me to. The Bible says that God is actually knocking on the door. And he says, if you'll answer that, I'll, I'll, I'll enter into you and I'll dine with you. I want you to be with me. I want this relationship. I want to know you. The Bible doesn't say, obey this, 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 and you're going to go to heaven. No, the Bible says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind. He says, I want to have a relationship with you. I want you to hear the message tonight and go, are you kidding me? So you're sitting on this throne up there. You're in unapproachable light. There's a hundred million angels, and you mean to tell me that rather than punishing me, you, almighty God, said, your son to die on a cross for me and then if I truly believe in that and I'm ready to just walk away from my life and follow that and devote myself to Jesus to just die to myself and follow him that you'll put your spirit in me and that's it so I don't have to actually do something to earn my salvation I just have to believe to that extreme and boom it's I'm, I'm there man where do I sign up he wants you to see that and go, I want to know this God. I want to know him more than I want to know anyone on this earth. And he becomes your most important relationship. But have you ever done that? Have you ever come before God and said, God, I'm ready. I want you. I want all of you. Despite what has been modeled for me in my church or my parents, I trust what the word of God says. I want it all. I want Jesus, I want to trust in him.